Hello, hi, how is it going? Welcome back to another video where I look at all of the assassin brawlers and brawl stars and I see how they are compared to one another. The rules are pretty simple. When I click on a brawler, if it says assassin under their name, then they're an assassin. But we have a twist in this one because in the last one, a lot of people were saying that like, oh, Daryl's an assassin, but he's not exactly an assassin because he's a hybrid. But basically what this means is he is a hybrid between an assassin and a tank. So for Daryl, we're going to put him in this video as well. And a lot of people were saying that Fang is an assassin even though it doesn't say it even though that he's not an assassin i'm just gonna play him anyways because a lot of people wanted to see him in that video so for the assassins we have crow mortis buzz my boy Stu, and to end it off we're gonna do daryl and finally fang starting with crow we gotta make sure that we actually get a good build today because in my last video i didn't check my build whatsoever but we kind of got a sweat in this one so i'm gonna do shield and speed because this map for duels is a bit wonky there's like a giant bush in the center and i want to do extra toxic because i don't feel like dying immediately honestly i'm gonna do the shield one because i also don't want to die immediately crow's like really squishy so if i can do everything defensive as possible i guess besides the health gear then we should be maybe good oh we have a crow ditto okay i'm actually not confident with the crow ditto whatsoever so this might not go very well <laughs> especially against like another experienced crow player we're just gonna be poking at each other the whole time and then eventually i'm gonna get a bit aggro and then i'm gonna get hit first by the poison this is exactly how it's gonna go <laughs> one of us could go around the side or whoa he became so fast did you guys see that that was insane well i actually got a few hits in so that's good but now i'm going a bit aggro so he got a hit in on me okay i need to go back and heal a little bit i need to get my shield back there we go i got my shield back i almost got hit again i'm getting pushed back a little bit too far though oh he slowed me okay you know what i'm just gonna go in with my shield we should be good right we should be good hit him again okay i saved my super that was actually really good right there oh shelly's got super okay i gotta be a bit careful but if she just goes in like that then we're good i'm just gonna super i don't care she's gonna die Let's go. Okay, last one is Tara. So maybe I can just kind of go in sicko mode. She's probably going to have a gadget. I wasted that shield so hard. Ooh. No, shield. Shield, please. Come on. Wait. No, I'm dead. I think she wasted two gadgets on me. And she also wasted her super. So I might be able to just go in sicko mode and just kill her like this. Hello? Oh, she went behind me? She's looking for me now. I just got to wait for her to shoot again. But yeah, she's just doing the poke game. That's really annoying. Hello. That was terrible. That's why sometimes I don't even like having Coiled Snake because in cases like that, you just can't go in as Mortis because if you like show up in her face and you try dashing at her, you're just going to go too far. When she throws her super, I want to try to like reactionary throw my super out so then she can't just kill me immediately with hers. The problem though is uh, ping. Yeah, okay. My super didn't even push her. Did you see that delay? I did better than I expected though. I got two kills with the crow. Maybe if my super actually pushed her when I used it, it pushed her like a whole second later after it came out. Now we got Leon. This should be a lot easier because trophies and the fact that I'm finding a Gus as a Leon. Gus is low-key kind of underrated though, so I might not be able to even get in that easily. Yeah, like this guy's predicting exactly where I'm going every single time I step anywhere. Okay, now he's dead. He's dead. I know that Janet is omega good in this map, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that well against her. If I can just poke and get my super soon, then maybe she won't realize and then I can just go in yeah okay this is exactly why she's so good here i don't remember if i even visit heal or not oh it doesn't matter does it matter uh, i don't think it matters i can just dodge this super easy it's so easy to dodge now she's dead there we go last one is amber i might just go in inviso style oh yeah she thinks i'm in there but i'm not what are you shooting at oh she thought i was invis to the left yeah that was a lot better but it was also a lot easier because of my trophy range leon did not die once though now we got mortis and obviously the creepy harvest star power is absolutely useless so i don't want that i don't know if i want combo spinner i might do survival shovel just so that i can like go in a bit easier and then i will do shield and damage is good but i'm gonna do speed because this map is really bushy uh oh we're fighting a bull that's not very good for a start that's actually very bad for mortis i might give him a second shot uh oh <laughs> wait, can I actually... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh my god, I'm finessing him. Let me get my creepy harvest. He might show up like any second now though. Hello. <laughs> Super him. Boom, boom. No, that was actually so close, dude. I almost killed a bull. You gotta at least give me some more discredit right there. Okay, bull should be super easy with this. Or not. Maybe I can kill the bull's gale? Like, come on. This guy's bull is being way more trouble than it needs to be. Twister. There, now you're dead. He dodged my super with my gadget. Okay, yeah, he's stuck. He can't do anything now. Get this bull out of here. Now we're fighting Edgar. We all know how this goes. Edgar physically cannot touch this brawler. He literally cannot. What are you gonna do? Yep. Nice. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Good job. Oh, he's going up and he's dead. Now for Brock, I'm just gonna go to the right because then he won't expect me to go super aggro. And there we go. Just like I expected, he thought I would be in the bush, but I was not. I'm thinking outside the bush. I know that damage is good with Edgar, but I kind of want to keep the speed on anybody that I play just because of the map. So I might do shield. I could also just keep damage on and hope that it's enough. And then fisticuffs, I could do 25% more healing. And then with the damage, I could do more healing. So my plan is to put 
all of my defensive stuff on besides a shield so like it just heal more and have a shield basically with this gadget i also decided that i'm gonna put mortis as a secondary just to give him another chance if i die with edgar instead of playing a whole other match with mortis uh oh we're fighting a janet that's not fun at all she's gonna know exactly where i am once she realizes that i'm not like in the center there's no other option that i should do right now like i should not go in on her she can cover the entire bush and if she wants to keep doing that then that's on her she can keep doing that as long as she wants to she's probably like right in the middle now i'm assuming Yep, there she is. Okay, she's in the middle. So I just gotta wait till I can see her again and then I can super straight onto her. I'm gonna go in a little bit, use my shield. There we go. And then she hit the shield. Hit her a bit. Hit her a bit. More auto aim. There we go. Perfect. I can probably just rush the tick. I have his speed gear. He's <laughs> running for his life. Jump over it. Okay, my reaction time is so bad. Oh. Hit the thing. Kill him. Kill him. Tick is so good against assassins. He's so good. He's so good. I almost died again. I can get my super in two hits against this Tara. I just need to know where she is. Okay, well, there she is. Can I, uh... Oh, dash out of it. Yes. Come on. This match is everything possible that could go wrong going wrong in one match. Okay, I need to play safe. I need to, like, calm down and not rush. Yeah, I'm suddenly changing my play style, so now she's going aggro. But she's gonna get her super, like, any second now. If I can just hit her one more time, maybe just push her straight in the smoke. Uh-oh. Oh my god, that was so close. Yeah, that was a pretty bad showcase for Edgar as well. Now we have my boy, my old main stew. And what I'm gonna do is just have Mortis and Edgar on the side. If I ever do bad with a brawler, I'll just put them in the back burner so then I can try them again, but I don't need to play them if I win. I'm gonna do my usual build that I do with Stu. I'm gonna do zero drag and I'm not gonna use breakthrough. It got nerfed again. We're fighting a Mortis. So with zero drag, I can escape him. Without it, I can't. So I'm actually really glad that I have this right now. I'm gonna put my speed zone down so I can go speedy anywhere and everywhere. And now I need him to actually show himself oh boy Hi. hello oh my gosh he wasted everything <laughs> hello what you doing mortis huh what you doing oh my god this is so mean i'm actually bullying him come here oh wow he's dead without zero drag it's actually a pretty balanced matchup because i can't escape him nearly as easily but with it it's such a cheese matchup janet janet i'm going out of here yeah okay can i get rid of this gadget over here dude her gadget is so good for this mode oh wow she's going defensive mode okay can i kill this one as well Dodge her. Dodge her again. Uh-oh. Oh, that was close. I might be able to just bully the Frank. I love fighting Franks. He's probably just gonna bum rush me. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. He broke my thing. Yes. Dash away from him. <laughs> it's such a mean matchup. Such a mean matchup. Such a mean matchup. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. I almost died. Ooh, I almost died again. Fighting a Frank as Stu is my favorite matchup in this entire game. Stu still feels pretty good, and we're relatively high trophies with him as well. Now, we have Daryl as one of the honorable mention brawlers, and I'm gonna put, uh, I guess this gadget, because apparently it's really good. I did not know that. And I'll do steel hoops, because we're not playing heist, and then I'll do the only two gears that I have on him. I wonder how the enemy is gonna feel when he sees three assassins on the enemy team. I hope this guy's playing, like, three throwers that are not tick. That would be hilarious. He's playing Shelly. Oh, no. Three assassins against Shelly? Can I even win this? Can I, like, like possibly win this uh oh dude like this is gonna be really 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 bad this is gonna be so bad oh no bro like what what can i possibly do i can't roll on her i need to somehow like out dps her at a far range uh oh get, uh, get me out of here okay my super just didn't work i think what brawl stars needs is a buffer system it's like where you try supering and then you get hit by something but then your super just doesn't activate after you got hit by something because like if my super activated after she super me because i tried activating it before she super me then it's just like that i tried activating my super it didn't go even after my knockback ended it still didn't go that's the problem it shouldn't like completely cancel it it should just delay it hello oh i dodged it okay it's okay, we're still alive, we're still alive, we're still alive, barely, dude. This person is definitely more alive than the bull was, though, that's a problem, okay? I'm just dead, yeah, no, there's no shot in the world. I literally got hard countered for all three of my brawlers because of one Shelly pick. Who even picks Shelly? I don't know, nobody does. Oh, I might kill her. Oh, I killed her! She wasted all of her shots with clay pigeons! We have such a good chance now, we have a Gus and a Stu. The Stu's gonna be a big problem, but maybe I can beat him. Because I don't even know how, like, good this guy is, that he's just playing Shelly. <laughs> okay, Gus, I'm just gonna go in, you wasted a shot therefore i think you lose this you do so i literally just have to find like a good time to go in on the stew stew's gonna be really tricky though just go in use my shield i just gotta push him all the way back push him back come on come on come on come on yes oh my god i can't believe we beat this guy he got way too confident with the shelly right there loki almost forgot to play buds even though he's one of my favorite rollers to play so we're gonna use eyes sharp and i guess i'll use x-ray shades because of the map that we're on and i'll use the speed gear maybe uh health gear i think that would be nice all right let's go we got a fang a tara and a gale the gale is gonna be really tough i put griff as my third because i want somebody as a backbone and it's gonna be really nice having that let's just use this yep and he is dead <laughs> i love buzz he's so broken tara might be a 
bit of a problem though because of her super because of the spread on her shots where is she there she is okay if i can somehow go in oh she has super right now does she know that i can see her i don't think she knows does she know that i can uh okay no i don't think that there's like any way i win this unless unless oh my gosh why did you get so close to me taro i mean i'll take it but why oh great now i'm fighting gail yay i love gail i love fighting gail he's so fun and interactive and cool yeah use your tornado oh wow nice twister you got there oh wow he completely canceled out my super thanks gail i love gail he's so cool oh my gosh he's so annoying gail has everything in a brawler that just makes me cringe no way I'm dodging you this hard, bro. These are the Gale players I'm fighting, but they still win the matchup just because of me picking somebody who literally cannot hit him. And again, we have Mortis. whoop de doo I swear, dude. Gale just needs to be like removed from this game. Please, Supercell. Please and thank you. I just feel like somebody should not be able to hard counter other brawlers this hard. It's insane. Can I kill him now? Good. Once he ran out of twisters, he had nothing left to do. Nothing left to carry him. Now we're playing Fang. I'm going to do speed and I guess health. Health is fine. Penny should be fine. I don't think Penny's like a problem whatsoever. Unless she hits every single shot. Okay, unless she hits literally every single shot. This person knows exactly where I am. Hit that. Yeah, I knew she would reactionary do that. There we go. Killed it. She's going to place another one. I immediately killed it. That's funny. Push me into you. That's exactly what I wanted. I, I didn't say it, but that's exactly what I wanted. I went out super on the Otis. Roundhouse, he's dead. Perfect. Oh my god, Fang is so fun. Super in, get a kick in. Roundhouse, get a second kick in. Boom. GG, easy. She already used two gadgets on me, so I should be able to just go in just like this. Okay. Where did he go? Oh, wow. I can't believe that missed. That was a wide thing. I gotta go in. Oh, the Mortis probably can't win this, but I can just go in as Griff and then win it with that. I thought I was gonna get super- I'm confident with the Griff. I don't think that the Spike has anything on me, bro. And yeah, now the matchup is different. Now you're playing a bit safe, aren't you, Spike, huh? Uh-oh, okay, maybe he outranges me. There we go, we got a clean hit in, and maybe this will kill him? Yep, it killed him. Griff is so good. Tearless time. Just based on this video, I think that Leon and Stu felt the best. Doesn't mean that they are the best. I'm not sure which one actually has the highest win rate. Mortis felt pretty good most of the time, but the fact that you can get hard counter by like Shelly, Bull, literally any tank, and Gale especially, makes him a bit lower on the tier list. Obviously, that's how he's always been, but he's good against really specific characters in certain scenarios. So I definitely wouldn't put Mortis at the top, but I also wouldn't put him at the bottom. I think Buzz is also in a similar thing where he can be really good but then against certain brawlers like gale he's really bad Stu, crow leon all three of them are really well-rounded they can actually deal with those types of characters you know they don't have like exact hard counters but they do have counters and fang kind of gets stuffed up by gale as well and he's not very good against tanks like bull and primo but he can deal with them and edgar is edgar he's got like the bad traits of every brawler but he's also not that good in the same way so he's just the worst so just based off how everything felt right there i would probably put like crow Stu, and leon near the top side and then i would put like buzz mortis daryl and fang somewhere in the middle that doesn't mean that they're way worse i just think that crow Stu, and leon have more versatility and then uh edgar's at the bottom tier list over but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video then slap a like on it and if you're new to my channel then subscribe for more videos because i'm gonna post a lot of duels content while it's still here i don't know how long the mode is gonna stick around it only comes like once a month and then it goes away for the entire rest of the next month so as long as it's here i'm gonna make as many videos as i can either way i'll see you guys later have a good night